What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Arc Live. I am DPD, and with me is a guy who's been here several times already and joining us uh, at Wednesday Night Fights, Sammy Fish. How's it going, man? I'm great. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so uh, you just came back from uh, Red Bull Conquest. Yes, I did. Right. Mm. Um, so uh, how, how was the experience? How, how was the? Uh, I mean, it, it's really good to see Guilty Gear on the on the stage. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's really awesome. But um, you know how how was the how was the experience? How was uh, you know watching Guilty Gear on the front stage with the Red Bull and uh, yeah, how, how'd it go? It was crazy. I mean, for me personally, since I grew up, uh, when I was getting into the scene, mm -hmm. there wasn't really anything. Nobody was talking about Guilty Gear, right? Yeah. It was like towards the tail end of the AC days, and it was pretty much like Guilty Gear Ixer was about to be announced. So really, nobody was talking about the game. So to see to come from that time, and then to really want to see Evo like have Guilty Gear again, and mm -hmm. then get to this point where we have this sort of tour that Red Bull Conquest is putting on for us, it's amazing, really. And I and I have to thank Red Bull for putting this on for us because largely, I know that the gear community has been really wanting something like this. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. right. Because we look at games like Street Fighter Five, like Tekken, like Injustice, where they go, man, they have so many talented players, and they get to show it off. We have talented players as well. We have amazing oh, yeah, players that have dedicated over decades to just this game alone, and we don't ever get to show it off. So to have this, to have this uh, sort of series where we get to show off basically the U.S. Guilty Gear scene as a whole almost mm -hmm. is, is almost a dream come true, really. And I have to thank Conquest or Red Bull to not only having me out to do Red Bull Conquest Los Angeles, which was a huge honor because the venue was so sick. The setup was awesome. They treated mm -hmm. us very well. And uh, I think we ended up having a pretty darn good tournament out of it. Uh, but just really like, and on the behalf of the Guilty Gear scene, I got to say thank you to Red Bull uh, for, for putting it on for us. So I really am just like elated after that is the best way to put it. I'm so happy and stoked and I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the Conquest uh, tour for Guilty Gear. For the other games as well, as mm -hmm. I am a fan for all of them, but specifically Guilty Gear really needed this, I think. Something for the US scene to really, really push forward to and, and, and show on a national scale of like who is the best, sort of something to really look forward to. Yeah, and uh, I, I caught up, I, I watched, I didn't watch the entire Guilty Gear thing, I right. stuff, but uh, I, I watched like the I think it was the top four, top eight, and top four, um, yeah. you know um, I, I'm proud to say that my my good friend and um, a, a, a guy who's also been here many many times, mm -hmm. Kizuke, yeah. won the tournaments, and it wasn't like um, I mean it was so, some matches were close, but like the grand final was was a bit one sided towards the he's end. So he's strong. he's too good. He's he's really good. He knows he he he's really good. like like uh, like you guys said, uh, Kizzy really knows how to. Um, he's aware of everything, like his yeah. his, uh, his opponent's meter, his meter, his calorie bar, because he's a sin, you know. So mm -hmm. it's, it was he, he was very very on point um, with everything. And um, in case you missed it, um, we're gonna actually cut to the the very last uh, match mm -hmm. uh, right now um, with Kizzy and uh, who who do you play? He played um, he played Toki. Toki, yeah, 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 that's right. So we're gonna cut to that real quick, and we'll come right back and talk about a possible Arc System Pro Tour that uh, Kidoka uh, mentioned last uh, last stream. So we'll cut uh, right to to Kizzy's uh, last match. Toki, he said, not only be him this next game, but one more. Maybe he hopes to reset the bracket and have a chance of taking the spot for himself. One more time. Ooh, good combo, and he gets him towards the corner. He's gonna maul him once again. Ooh, oh, and then the L cut after. I wasn't expecting him to go double low. Man, great combo too. He knew exactly how much calories he needed for that combo and hit it. That's gonna put him on tournament point. UIU's Kizzy K trying to take that first LA spot. Oh man, went on tournament point with a perfect. Togi not gonna let that happen again. Bust out with the DP early. Tried for the command cross up, but he got clipped by the jump age. Nice, gets a knockdown. It has a lot of calories to work with here, but eats early. Just wants to go for the Oki in the mid screen. Oh my goodness, this, the constant pressure. Toki can't find his way out. Yeah, and you can really see that he's looking for that option there. Good just defend, gets the punish, but he bursts him towards the corner. 
Ooh, he coming down with the Blitz, just thinking that he's going to press a button. Not a bad idea. Goodness, Eaton Ugh. still gets the 6P anyway. Oh, that might be attention. it. First Super, and Kizzy K, representing UIU, will be your first member of Red Bull Conquest LA. Yeah, so that match, um, we're just re-watching it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, like, Kizzy, man, Axel, Axel got beat pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, like, what, what was I mean? You were there, and yeah. you saw it. And what, what, what was what was going through your head when uh, when you saw the the final match? So one thing is, is to note that both Kizzy and Toki are good mm. friends of mine. I okay, also okay. think that they're both very good uh, Guilty Gear players. Mm -hmm. Kizzy, however, is one of the best in the U.S. No doubt. Yeah, He's yeah. one of the people that when the Japanese come over to Evo, they're like, "Oh, we got to worry about this dude." Yeah, yeah. Is that sort of caliber? Um, he is amazing. Like his, his spacing and awareness of of the situation is always super duper strong. Oh, of course. Yeah. And and for him, he has the ability. He puts so much time and effort into every game that he plays that he has the ability to really take those small situations and improvise. I think in gear, the ability to improvise is a, such a strong tool mm -hmm. because there's so many factors that go into every little hit. The defense modifier, the way, how you hit them, you know, just all those little things put together make it so that when you get a hit, it's not always the cleanest. And sometimes you have to fix it up a little bit with a little ingenuity. Mm -hmm. He's so good at that. And so that means that you don't drop an Oki setup. That means that you get all the damage out of your hits. That means that whenever you're in a situation, you're able to fix it if it goes wrong. That is the mark of a top player. That's what cuts the best from the rest, right? And and well, nice so, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's he's uh he's that. He's one of the best. And that's why I was absolutely elated to have him. Represent, represent yeah. LA SoCal, because yeah, yeah. SoCal specifically because he's he's going to put on a great show. He's gonna show how strong uh, SoCal is as a scene. He is going to have a really really good showing at uh, at the Washington finals. DC. Yeah, Washington, the, 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 so the Red Bull Conquest uh, finals. Um, I, uh, from my understanding is. Um, Red Bull is going to be going to different regions in the yes. U.S. and they're going to have finalists mm -hmm. to uh, for for a final tournament um, at D at DC, uh, yeah. right? And uh, and I think NorCal is coming up pretty soon too, right? Yeah, August eighteenth will be Oakland, and okay, uh, Oakland, I right. might might come up to that if very, I have, if cool. uh, time or uh, work permits. Uh -huh. But uh, it's yeah, I've just been really after Red Bull Conquest Los Angeles. I was like, I have to go to another one. Oh, yeah. Because after talking to a lot of the Red Bull guys, they were like, this is just Red Bull Conquest Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. This isn't how every one of them is going to feel. Everyone's going to feel a unique way, a way that the scene can really relate to. And that's something that I was like, that's crazy to me. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I hopefully I can come up to Oakland. But uh, this is nothing to take away from uh, Toki, specifically. He's a great player, phenomenal mm -hmm. Axel. Yeah, he's, he's great. Um, one of the best in the U.S. at Axel because, I mean, one, we don't have very many, and two... You don't he, see that many. He plays in a very unique manner, which is has is extremely aggressive, very button-heavy, and uh, is not afraid to get into your face, yeah. which is, as an Axel player, uh, or as an opponent to an Axel player, makes you really afraid because you don't know when he's going to come in, when he's going to go out. Uh, when he's going to hold the button, when he's going to DP, and he really makes you guess constantly. Mm. Um, so, I mean, to have him in the grand finals versus that, I mean, like, it was going to be that good of a match. And, and yeah, it was pretty handed in Kizzy's side, but I think that really just shows how dominant he is as yeah, a player. Yeah. He's amazing. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And as well to the the rest of the Red Bull Conquest LA team, uh, with Yan Flip and Dankadilla as both fantastic players and mm -hmm. uh both earned their spot there with very very hard for hard fought sets in grand finals yeah it was it was a it was a really it was a really good uh event um it was amazing and uh you know uh big shout out to uh, red bull for putting our game on the map thank you um you know uh if, if you were on the if you watched the show uh last week we had the president's um, along with um, Arc Systems, uh, VP of Productions, uh, Nobu, and uh, Junya, uh, who um, is the technical director of uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, and uh, Guilty Gear Exard, um, yeah, Kido uh, talked about um, possibly wanting to do uh, a pro tour of some kind, um, of some caliber, whether or not it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, whether or not it's going to be uh, 
Guilty Gear, uh, Blaze Blue, a mixture of even BB Tag. Uh, yeah. We're unsure yet, but he really wants to um, break, uh, you know, bring it to the to the Western uh, market. I mean, uh, with the success of um, with the BB Tag and um, with Red Bull putting on uh, Guilty Gear. Um, and uh, Conquest, you know, who knows? Uh, hopefully, we get to see more anime titles um, in the in the forefront. Right. But uh, but yeah, let, um, hopefully uh, everything turns out well. And uh, but um, well, let's uh, let's run down the episode real quick. I know a lot of you guys um, are are here for uh, some particular <laughs> particular game that uh, I heard about. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and and then uh, you know we got a, a few announcements um, and. Uh, we mainly want to show off some new merchandise. Um, some of them, uh, some of the stuff is going to be on the gear store. Some mm. of them is going to be um, exclusive at uh, conventions. So if you know if you're going to like Anime Expo or um, any other upcoming um, anime convention or mm -hmm. comic convention or whatever that we're going to be at a gaming convention, uh, be sure to stop by our booth. We'll we'll have a bunch of merchandise, and then um, we're going to be messing around with some of the uh, some of the new characters um, for bits. Um, well, uh, you know, there's uh, Yang, of course. Everyone's talking about Yang. Ah, uh, Yang is yeah. so cool. Uh, Yang is awesome. Ah, uh, they did such a good job with her. Ah, uh, she's so cool. I've had <laughs> such a blast with that character. Yeah, I like how you like your volume just went like from Dude, like fifty to hundred. She's so cool. Yeah. Like I just I picked her up immediately, and as soon as I like started pressing buttons, I was like, this is the character for me. It was just all about her of a matter of finding a good partner for her. Unfortunately, I don't feel like Makoto like fits really well. You with would her. think like yeah, it's, like Yang and Makoto they have like similar so attitudes. Close. They're very yeah. But, you know, Yang works well with a lot of people. Jin, Jin works well with everybody. Dude, but I mean, I'm, so that's the team that I'm playing right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I might switch to Chie later because I think Chie Yang do a crazy amount of damage. I just have to figure it out. Yeah, Yang, Yang's guy. I saw some pretty cool combos with her uh, for her EX throw uh, attack. Like, yeah. yeah. So you can, you can tag mm -hmm. in, have her throw, and then like, you know, tag back out. And she'll she'll continue her uh, her animation. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff with Yang and, uh, you know, a lot of cool, I seeing a lot of cool uh, Naoto uh, insta-kill combos. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of... That's so scary. Yeah, it's scary. It's very, very scary. It's so, so there's, scary. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff. But, um... Yeah, let's let's uh let's show a little teaser. You've probably seen the teaser already. There's almost mm -hmm. a countdown online. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna show it to you anyway, and then we'll talk about it. Yes. A bit. Yeah. So, uh, all right, here we go. Is it paused? I know, I know you guys seen it already. I'm looking yeah. at the chat right now. Mm. You know, that that is, um, yeah, that was not gameplay. That was not gameplay. But uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a teaser of a teaser. Right. Um, but uh, you know, kill a kill. A lot of people are wondering: Is this gonna be like a, like DLC for BB Tag? Is this? Gonna I be, wish. Yeah. So so close. Like I like to tell you, it's not. It's a, so Arc Systems is. Um, going to be producing hmm. with uh, Studio Trigger a Kill a Kill, a brand new Kill a Kill title, um, and it's going to be developed by A-plus games. Um, they've also, they're the guys who've done um, uh, Damascus Gear, um, they've done uh, My Witch Academia, um, which is a cute little anime, uh, which uh, looks like an action RPG, but, um, but yeah, um, I know probably more than you do, but mm -hmm. it's, but it's, it's still... It's still very uh, one the things that uh, the, the things that I know I can't I can't say but I'm I'm curious as as probably you are you mm -hmm. probably represent the rest of the community like what 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 is your initial thoughts from what you've seen I mean there there are images that are floating around the right. internet right now um, there's there's images of uh, Ryoko and uh, Satsuki um, as well as uh, two 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 images of them fighting each other yeah what what is your initial um, initial um, reaction to, to the news and then to what, what was shown. So I'm, I'm going to talk, uh, like you said, like purely from like the reaction of everybody else's. Mm. I have no insider information. I just show up and I want to talk about fighting games, right? Oh, yeah. So 
this, uh, so you got the two screenshots, right? And you mm-hmm. had one from, like, that poking angle where it was, like, over the shoulder-ish. Mm-hmm. And then you had the other one, which was 2D. Yeah. And so that was extremely confusing, right? Like, mm-hmm. which way is it going to play? Is it going to play one way or another? Are you going to enter 2D at certain points? Are you going to enter, is the 3D a cinematic? Mm-hmm. Like, um, uh, similar to, like, Injustice, where if you get into a clash system, it, like, might, like, shift differently or something like that. These are the things I'm, I'm wondering uh but it's sort of like one of those things where it's like you can only speculate so much and uh the lack of information was on purpose right it's supposed to get you excited supposed to get you curious asking questions and then we'll get the uh, proper trailer or more information later on but uh for me i'm just like if i get a chance to play satsuki i'm super down that (laughs) character is so sick and it's like when I saw the the website, I was like, "There's no way that we're gonna, I'm going to be able to play Satsuki in Blaze Blue Tag," and that's maybe too high eyed, but uh, it's all right. I mean, it seems like it's pretty cool. Like the animation seems, uh, it, it seems like it's a uh, fits trigger really well, which is I thought oh, yeah, the yeah. first thing that I thought was. It, it seems like the animation that A plus is going for is what Trigger wants, which is sort of like a cell shaded sort of style, a good mm-hmm. amount of shading, uh, looking game, and yeah. you know with Arc System Works sort of produce or uh, publishing, and helping them out, that it should look a, like a pretty darn good game. Yeah, and uh, you said you said uh, there's two screenshots. Actually, um, there's four screenshots. There's four. Yeah, so there's there's two images of them. there's there's two there's two other images of a. Uh, Satsuki and Ryoko, yeah. just like it, it looks like something that's probably screenshot from like the anime, but those are in game. Every oh, yeah, those four yeah, are yeah. also in game, so maybe you got that confused. So the, it looks really, really good. It looks really yeah, good. It, look, it looks yeah. amazing. Um, but uh, that's that's really um, that's all I could. So the the R cops um are are watching. So <laughs> the R cops are watching. The R cops are watching. Yeah. <laughs> so um, but. Uh, you will get to hear more. Um, we'll officially uh, release a, a trailer. Mm-hmm. What the trailer contains, um, I am unsure. That it all depends on the, the guys in Japan. But uh, we're showing uh, first official, the first official look. That's not just cut uh, stuff cut from the anime right. at Anime Expo. So um, in two weeks, we will be showing you um, s- some first official looks at, at the game. Um, we'll have we'll probably have something at, at Anime Expo. Um, but uh, but yeah. So you're gonna have to wait uh two weeks. But if you're in LA, you know, stop by the booth. Um, check out whatever we have to show for Kill a Kill. And uh, speaking of convention news, mm-hmm. we do have uh some uh, some gear to show off. Um, and uh, who better to talk about it than the guy who kind of runs the gear store, uh, Gail, uh, Gail, who's uh back there. Come on over, come on over. Hey. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, what's up, Gail? So, hey. um, uh, what, uh, what stuff do we have? As of right now, I mean, we have some, we have some cool, uh, t-shirts on, on the web store. Um, we have, uh, some fans. Of, of course, we have the collector's edition of BB Tag. And, uh, we're gonna be having some exclusive convention stuff. That's right. Um, and I believe, uh, you're holding two empty plates. <laughs> the... Ooh. <laughs> what goes what goes in uh, in these plates? Right. So uh, last week, for you eagle-eyed uh, watchers out there, you yeah. guys must have noticed the Noel acrylic stand. Yeah. So, so I don't know if you want to go to table cam. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, table cam. <laughs> How much did they did they miss? Uh, I don't know. Probably all of it. 
Switch. Probably all of it. All right. Yeah, once they switched over. <laughs> it wouldn't be an, an Arc Live episode without some sort of audio issue. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you guys miss? What did, oh. they, what, did, what did everybody miss? I think they missed everything. So, okay. <laughs> Um, so we got we got Noel and Makoto here. So th- these are going to be the uh, the convention exclusives. Um, so you know if, if you if if you got the collector's edition and you have Ragna, um, Ruby, Hyde, and uh, Narukami, um, come and collect them all. We have uh, Noel and Makoto here. Um, I think um, Anime Expo is going to be the first place to to catch them or to, to get them. Yes. Yeah. I mean, is there? Are there any plans to possibly have more characters? Is that a possibility? Or um, it there... really depends on how well these do. <laughs> I uh-huh. mean, this is kind of like a, a trial basis and just, you know, to have something special for mm-hmm. convention, goer, convention goers going to, like, Anime Expo and, and Evo. So we'll have these at Evo as well, too. Oh, sweet. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Those, those are the next uh, two uh, events that uh, you, could, you could probably get these at. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And and if there's any left over, then we'll put them up on the online store. But... So far, these will you can only get them on site. Oh wow! So yeah. these so technically these are going to be like a limited run. Yes. All right. So mm. so yeah, uh, if you're looking to get these at uh, if you're going to be at Anime Expo and you're looking to collect more of these acrylic standees to add to the family of BB Tag, Mokoto and Noel will be available. And as possibility, depending on how these do, we could possibly get more characters. Yeah. You know who knows? Maybe we'll get some uh some upcoming characters um yeah let us know what your requests are if you guys have like certain requests obviously some some characters will be more difficult than others because of like licensing issues oh yeah yeah and, uh, al- and also size i can't imagine a, a tape because it looks like these are like scaled like like ragna is taller than these two as as you know probably should be as probably should yeah and, right. and you know as, as the as the the lower um, tells us he's, he's a yeah. Taker's like, little frame will probably have to be like this. I don't know, yeah, I don't know how that works. Pack can probably be a little different. You Maybe know, he'll so. be a special one or something. Yeah, yeah. So sick. Can I get a one to one or a Taker for and like Steam. that'd be so sick and put it up in my room. Okay, man. Or even better, just get me a one to one of Cunio because Cunio is going to be in the game, right? <laughs> Right? This is why we brought me back, right? It's to, it's exactly. to, bring, to bring up Cunio. Exactly. I'm why. so stoked. See, as Co- soon as we leave the as <laughs> soon as we leave the machine. Yeah, I'm saying that as soon as we leave the stream, <laughs> the stream knows that doesn't no one's banning it. Yeah, it's like And talk yeah. about wise men quotes. This is one wise man once said this is a blow up. Okay, well, um, I just wanted to make sure because we're, we're actually going to go show off uh, some other stuff. Yeah, and we um, want audio. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're making sure. we got some new equipment here, so, you know, I wanted to make sure everything is running running a bit smoothly. But, of course, it wouldn't be an arc live with some type of audio issue. Well, let's go to uh, the first. So, uh, um, so this here is going to be, uh, this is a poster. Yeah. Um, okay. So... so yeah, let's talk about the posters a bit. Are these going to be exclusive too, or are these going to be on the uh, the web store, or what's going to be going on? Well, again, these will be first available at conventions mm-hmm. and events and things like that. Yeah, yeah. We started selling the posters as early as Combo Breaker. Okay. And then Acon. Okay, yeah, I see. So. I see Coefficient, who we had on um, on the on the episode. He uh, he says he has it, but I mean, so you were selling a Combo Breaker. Was this the the specific poster you were selling? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so I know, there's, I know he was there. Yeah. So this is the horizontal one that you see on screen, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, well, what what is the size of this? This one's eighteen by twenty four. Eighteen by twenty four. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And- Scene does the yeah, audio yeah. cut? Okay. So That's okay. So this one's good. So let's fix the other scene. Yeah, go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> the, right now we're on the vertical poster, which we also saw that combo breaker and Acon. These will also be available 
at Anime Expo um, and Evo as well yeah. too. Um, and this one's just vertically, um, what do you call it? But it also it looks featured, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll feature. It features all the Ruby characters, and then the difference between this one, I think, this one features Makoto versus Noel in the last poster. Oh, okay. So you can choose between these two girls depending on. We're waiting for <laughs> Deep Hitty to. We're making to fix sure. Okay, so now we're on uh, Jin and Ragna's uh, little cute thing. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, nope, we're at be right back. No, no, Go no, back no. to sit. Should be cool. <laughs> All right, no, we're good. Okay, okay. We're good. So now, yeah, so this is the <laughs> April Fool's joke poster. So as you can see, this was the this was this year's April Fool's joke um, with the blaze blue tag and then we have we also featured last year's April Fool's joke with the Bark System Works logo in the in the bottom right hand corner. So this one's going to be used for promotional purposes. So mm -hmm. we'll probably giving, be giving a couple of these away at the end of the show uh, to some lucky viewers. Um, and then you'll also have a chance. Um, this will probably be used as a, a gift with purchase at Anime Expo and Evo. So if you buy X amount of stuff, you'll be able to get this poster. Cool. And Which will be me. Yeah. I'll be at Evo. Yeah. No, we'll just give you one right now. <laughs> we, yeah, but you have to help us dig it out of the crate. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, you gotta work. For that, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not sure if I want to stick my hand in the crate. I might lose it. You guys didn't see the crate, but it, like it actually took two of us to open it up an inch high, and he stuck his eyes in there like he was looking for a monster. So it was like I don't know if I actually want want to do that. All right, so oh, we're back. No, we're we're back. And oh, we're um, yeah, I, I, I should. Hopefully everything should be fixed now. No, now, but no, no, no yeah. you're not there now. Yeah, well, well so now we have uh, a t-shirt. A really, really nice uh, run in the t-shirt. Can you tell us a bit about the t-shirts? Like, um, it looks really nice. Yeah. I like it. I like the, the red look. Yeah. yeah. I like the simple design. I mean... Mm -hmm. The one color tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these, again, will be exclusive to conventions and then hopefully be available afterwards at on the Art Gear store. Okay, cool, cool. So, yeah, and we, we we actually have two more shirts. Yes. Um, hoping. You hoping. know, and so, you know, we have, uh, I'm, I'm hoping the audio is, is good, but uh, All right. here we go. We, uh, we have, uh, so, if, you know, there's people who like red, there's also people who like blue. Um, so we got uh, Noel. So, what, what's... What, Any Noel uh, fans out there? Oh, I, I like Noel. There's a ton yeah. of Noel fans. Look at and, this. And I know, I know Co Koei here, Koei Fishin, loves yeah. Noel, so he'll definitely there you uh, go. pick that up. <laughs> there you go. He even, look at that, he even has a little Noel emoji. Nice. Um, so, same same thing with uh, the Noel t-shirt, right? It's going to be exclusive at conventions, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, depending, um, it's probably, it's going to go to the, uh, depending on what, uh, what it does, it's going to be going to the, the gear store, correct? Yeah. yeah. So, for the shirts... We're not sure if they're going to make it in time for Axe. Definitely for Evo. Okay. But yeah. they might be coming super hot. So oh, I see. I see. It's, it's kind of 50-50 at this point if they're going to make it for Axe. Okay. And um, uh, so, yeah, we have we the t-shirt. We have a Noel t-shirt. We have one more. And um, it's not a character. But uh, I actually I think the design looks pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, oh, shit. It's, it is a snapback. I actually pressed the wrong button. But let's, let's hit the wrong <laughs> How are you press the wrong button? This is the best button. Well, it is. Right, so I, I, that's why I saved it for last. I was actually supposed to... Uh, All right, I'm, I'm a big fan of hats, though. Oh, like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. wearing hats. So this hat looks so sick. Yeah, yeah, so this is an idea that we had last year. We just couldn't get it done in uh -huh. time for Evo last yeah, year. Yeah. So we wanted to come back and revisit it. Yeah. People love snapbacks. You love snapbacks. I love snapbacks. I love snapbacks. But I love snapbacks. Yeah, I, I, I wear a hat at every, on every stream. If you probably see me... Like not here and like in, in public, I I'm, I always wear hats. So this this is definitely a really cool addition um, to the gear uh, merchandise ensemble here. I, yeah. I, I love this. Stuff. So again, I'm not sure if this is gonna make it in time for Axe, but definitely in time for Evo. Okay, and let's see if uh, go back get, to the other. Yeah, we have one more T-shirt, um, which is technically a character because he has his own game. But he's, he's Cunio? not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> not Cunio. Oh, I guess. Oh, it's it's not. Did, okay. Did you not put it up here? I probably yeah. did not put it up. Yeah, it's uh. Well, uh. No let's idea. get it up. It is. It's totally. Yeah, let's, let's get it. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cunio is getting a shirt. <laughs> I'm so stoked. <laughs> not Cunio. So, but not to Darn leave it. you guys, not to leave you guys hanging. It is. 
a replica of the sh- Ragnar shirt mm. from his persona and en- from the persona ending and BB tag. So if you remember that cutscene at the very end, if you played through episode mode, yeah. So yeah, that, it's dead spike. Yeah. So the, his dead spike shirt. So if you oh. see, if you saw the the end, so ending cool. of the episode, yeah. Actually, out of the other the, th- the three shirts, I actually like this one better. This one's nice. Yeah, it's super cool. It's clean. Yeah, yeah. So um, and for those who didn't understand the reference, Dead Spike actually has a video game called it's, it's a rhythm game called uh, Eat Beat Dead Spike Son. Which yeah. um, I'm kind of addicted to. It's a really simple game. We but need anyways. to we, we need to put in the we need to bring in the adapter so that we can play Eat Beat on like a DDR pad or something. Oh yeah, <laughs> Dude, I would be super down. <laughs> That'd be sick. I would be super down. So but, maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, well, it's, um, so yeah, those are the uh, the new merchandise we have. Um, we have these two. We have Makoto and Noel. We have the, the acrylic standees. We have three T-shirts. Uh, one with Ragna, one with Noel, which is blue, and this awesome uh, Dead Spike T-shirts. Um, we have three posters, um, and which are already available or at, have been available, at which have been available since yeah. uh, since Comic Breaker. Right, so you'll right. definitely see them at AX as well as these um, right. acrylic standees and the snapback. And the snapback. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, across the fingers, we get mm-hmm. the T-shirts and snapback by uh, Anime Expo. But if not, you'll definitely see them by uh, Evo. By Evo, yeah. yes, definitely by Evo. I need the snapback. The snapback. The snapback <laughs> is so clean. Like I honestly, cool. I'm so like I thought it was just gonna be like like have a Blaze Blue logo on top mm-hmm. of it, but a regular Arc like logo, especially the the what is the it, wave. Like, it's a wave. It's a wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, okay. a wave with two eyes. Two eyes looking, looking into over. the future. Yeah, we had this answered last week. Oh, people yeah. always, like, whenever we have like someone like from Japan, they're always like, "So what is the logo? logo. What is that logo?" Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a it's a wave. It's a it's yeah. It's a it's a nice uh, little wave crashing to the shore, and those, those are two eyes looking to the future. So that's yes. That's you know what I actually thought it was? I actually thought it was like maybe Kadoka's kid like drew arc. Yeah, me, you know, it, cause, because you it know, looks like a kid it looks like, like a trying. Yeah, like, it's, it's not a straight line. But it's actually one of the original developers from the original Guilty Gear who drew that logo. Yeah, maybe yeah, 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 drank yeah. a lot of coffee. Abe. Abe? Like, it was just like I want to say Abe. Yeah, it was Abe. Yeah. Okay. Abe. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. There you go again. But the hat yeah. looks so nice. I'm yeah. getting one immediately. Cool. It's called Temkin signature. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, <laughs> but pencils are small. His hands are big. Yeah, you yeah. can't ask him to have a good signature. Yeah. So um so yeah th- those are gonna those are the new um those are the upcoming merchandise you'll be able to get um at upcoming conventions um but uh yeah well, so let us know what other types of merchandise you guys like yeah um, what characters you want featured obviously we can't hit everybody up because you know out of there's gonna be more fans of this character than that character there's gonna yeah. be like that one guy that likes you know. Like yeah, there's I mean, or under, something yeah. like that. There's, there's obviously a whole bunch of, ca- of of people who love like you know, Hakumen. I love Hakumen. I'm sure you guys love Hakumen. There's a bunch of Jin lovers, Ragna, Makoto. But like you know, let us know. Um, let us know what you want. Um, and what ki- also what kind of merchandise you guys want. So I know there's um, you know if you guys want on bags. You know, bags doable. Yeah. You know, yeah. like statues, statues doable. All, you know, just let us know what I you guys want. Statues. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. I want a statue. Mean, get me, yeah. Yeah, but get me uh, the whole square. That, that's the whole yeah. square if on If you alone. want this, maybe you can get a <laughs> little bit of like that. I <laughs> yeah. want that, like in my room. Yeah. That'd be so sick. Just, you know, let us know what you want. If the demand is there, we'll, tr- we'll try to, you know. And also, if, if you see stuff like in Japan, if you want then it'd be available maybe in the U.S. store. Like, you know, maybe yeah, that, that could be doable be super too. cool. Yeah, let us know because, you know, again, ARC is, uh, they just they just opened a U.S. branch uh, where all ears let us know um, what you guys want and we'll try to see what we can give you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty open to, like, just listening to everybody's ideas. So, like, what did I see just lately? Oh, yeah, Sega, like, put up, like, kind of like a pre-order for a Sonic toaster. Yo, I got a bottle. Oh, this- <laughs> I pre-ordered that. You totally would. <laughs> I would, yes. So you now, are, you so would. Yeah, now, now, I, now I have my toast. I'm going to spread jelly on pieces of toast with Sonic's head on it. Yeah, is it, it the fastest yeah, it's toaster? Is like toast <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, ho- I'm hoping. Like, yeah, let's, hopefully it's the, fa- hopefully the toast lives up to the Sonic name. All right. You know? Sounds good. Mm. I mean, I would love to see Dead Spike on bread. 
You know? Yeah. So let us know. <laughs> that would be so sick. Yeah. yeah so, or or maybe a gonna... dead spike cookie cutter. Right? Yeah. I'm throwing ideas out there. You know? Yeah. Just, there you go. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to like, like, come on. Come on, guys. Let's, <laughs> let's, let us know what you guys we want. We need the ideas. And, I mean, we could do a similar type of campaign. Like, you know, we need to get X amount of pre-orders to get this thing exactly. made. Sort yeah. of thing. So... Maybe we might offer that up in the future. So if you guys About want to see something, let us know. Some gauntlets. Gauntlets. Like Yang gauntlets. Yang like gauntlets. actual Yang gauntlets. <laughs> oh, they just yeah. sure shoot like nerf We have cards. to go through like rooster teeth to, to get that approved. Right. But, but uh, yeah, let us know what kind of merchandise you guys want on uh, on the U.S. store. Um, and uh, and yeah, I think, I yeah, think we'll see a, you in the know. next two weeks or so at Anime, Anime Expo. So What are the dates for Anime Expo? It's July 4th weekend. July right. 4th weekend, whatever that sounds is. It's, it's it's two weeks from this weekend, I believe. All right, sounds good. Yeah, and then Evo. Yeah, and yeah. then Evo, and like, Evo. soon after. Yeah. I'm, I'm so stoked ex- for yeah. Evo. Super excited for Evo. Oh, uh, it's going to be great. But, uh, yeah, I think it's it's about time to, to go play some uh, some BB Tag. Nice. Um, so stoked. So, I mean, I've been... So, so Yang... So my main team is half there now. Now mm-hmm. that Yang is out there, oh. I I love when it comes to teams. I love themed teams. Yeah, me you know? too. I for for, for well, Tekken the, Tag, I well, use then like you need to do Team Blonde. Punch then. No, I know. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we, were, we were talking about the, the head of the broadcast. I was saying that I was so disappointed that Makoto Yang doesn't seem like at least on face right. value that it works out very well. So at the moment, I've been playing Yang Jin just because I need mm-hmm. like. Some sort of middle ground. I played Jin and CP and CF, so mm-hmm. it's like it was pretty easy for me to pick up. But I think Yang Chie might be the future, or maybe Yang Tager. Oh, okay. oh uh, Yang and Tager is actually pretty good. I also like Yang and Waldstein. Yeah, Yang, Yang really and Wald good. would be He's, pretty strong. Y- Yang works well with a lot of characters. Yeah, uh, not, I mean not so much as Jin. I think Jin is like probably like top two, Dude, three. He's like, so he's, good. He's super good. He's, but uh, he's as of right now, um, yeah, yeah, Yang Yang is Yang is pretty good. I, Yang I, I like Yang is Yang. pretty good. She's She's really cool because she has uh, limitations in a way that really make you sort of think about how to approach, but at the same time, they gave her things that are unique to a grappler slash, mm-hmm. like, rushdown style character, like Bottle Rocket, which is her air fireball, uh, is very, very strong yeah, because yeah. it holds her momentum, and it, it has a fantastic angle, and you have two angles to choose from. So when you're going in, you can TK Bottle Rocket and get in there and call assist, and that's like a free way to get it almost. Look at you. You know you know the, the, the you know, names you've been, of the, you've been, yeah. the moves. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> that's why I was like, so I learned the character. And mm-hmm. then I love move names, though. Uh, back when I learned Venom's move names, which are all like the sickest move yeah, names yeah. ever, I was like, I fell in love with move names after that. So right. I, I do my best to try to remember as many as I can. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's, um, it, it's, it's, there's two types of people in the FTC. <laughs> there's ones who uh, say the, 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 the name by, like, motions. Like, you know... Uh, like, quarter four or two Quarter four or two yeah. six, and then, you know, D or B or whatever. And then there's people who actually say the, like, the entire name of the move. And uh, you're number two. So I, if, if you have a cool move name... <laughs> which is then I'll probably say it, which is harder in games like Tekken, but a little bit easier. There's way too many. Yeah, yeah. too many. <laughs> so I just have, I sort of have to pick and choose in Tekken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like uh, for uh, Ling's running three. Yeah, A-O, running three. And yeah, then it's, it's like called a, like uh, it's called Diving Falcon. Diving so like Falcon, moves like that. AOP. Cool. Yeah, but like, but yeah, it's just way too many. In, in, in games like like uh, especially two D fighters, it's it's nice since so you got like six special moves, like two like uh, ultra attacks, and yeah. then like maybe one or two uniques, but. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy for this game considering every character has maybe four to five specials, and then sometimes they have ones that like follow up out of each other. Oh yeah, there's a couple. Yeah. So um, for all all things considered, it's not that bad. Plus, like there's moves like ice car. Remember its real name, <laughs> but it's like ice car. colloquially, it's a lot easier to understand as like ice car or like lightning car yeah. or like ice, something ice like car. It's Jin's little yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Colloquially yeah, yeah. in the U.S., we know it as ice car. <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah. much easier to say, and uh, people understand when you're like, oh, it's a forward moving move that's on ice. Yeah, stuff like that makes sense. Makes sense. But uh, yeah, and um, also. Uh yeah yeah um you know the uh Yang and the character character packs two and three were released uh yesterday officially. Mm-hmm. Um, I see you guys even messing around on Steam, but uh <laughs> a lot you know they, they've been officially released yesterday. Um, and uh, we also released a brand new trailer which features a lot of uh you know the the voice acting, um a lot of unique uh, interactions, 
And uh, one special uh, intro with uh, all four characters of uh, Team Ruby. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut to the trailer real quick, and then we're going to take a five-minute break, and we're going to play some BB Tiger after. So we'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Beginning battle data analysis. I couldn't take it, couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. Stand aside. This is too much for your tiny frame to take. Well, I guess I'm used to being underestimated. I'll warn you now, I'm pretty damn fast. Think you can keep up? No way! Look at all these weapons! Ah, so cool! Your eyes are so sparkly that I'm almost blushing. Joint operation battle. Here we go. Applying pressure! Fire everything! Attacking with your nosebleed! Awesome! No, it's not! And that's not what I... God damn it! It gives me such a thrill to watch the hope in your eyes die! <laughs> Pathetic! This battlefield is not your playground. Be gone, Harlequin. My, my. Only my sword can fulfill my mission. Your presence is no longer needed. On my honor as one of the leaked Christ, I will not allow evil to stand. On my honor as the Detective Prince, I will get the information I need. Never judge a book by its cover. Investigation and battle are fundamentally the same. Best not to move! Trick shot! 87 to 13. 4. Begin Initiate annihilation, annihilation of target. Detected. The difference in firepower is clear. Kapow! Kapow! Your punches are strong, Yang, but I think my kicks might be stronger. Then let's see which of us can dish out more damage. Oh, jeez. Might have gone overboard there, but you did touch my hair, so... Unrelenting... Fire! Hello! How's everyone doing? Team Ruby is back. All right, let's make this a good one. Then I'll count us down. Three, two, one, fight! fight! 